Last time on... Danganronpa. Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? That's right, the train day, the horrifying Blackened who killed two girls was Mikan Tsumiki. Probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. The a really different person now that she's inflicted by the despair disease. But I was for the sake of my beloved. This is my reciprocation. Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? Hi, <sighs> pity. I feel sorry for you. It's like oh, nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Just like that disease, I hope you remember my beloved. There's no way! The person you are right now is a real Mekon! I mean, you're dating! I have your panties! I knew that all along. I had horrifying organization known as World Ender. This lost the organization known as the Future Foundation. <laughs> of course I know that! Let's see, the Future Foundation Yaki, I play among you all is... Oh? Oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? It's set in my past self, but not my present self. These are memories, it's the shadows of the past. Con, why does that have to end like this? I freaking loved you. You go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Too bad, that's not the case. Mika was not the traitor. <laughs> Head over to the first island beach. No friend will be waiting there. You're unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. <laughs> it's there for not sticking around until I finish talking. That's only has because that I bear no responsibility. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could say someone who was that close to death. He's gone metal! Last time on... Danganronpa. Hello everyone, we're gonna start before the episode. I just want to announce something that was actually brought to my attention yesterday. We're here at the NIS America online store, or Nice America, whatever you want to call it. And... This was announced. The Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload Limited Edition on the PS4. That's right, if you're enjoying this series and you have a PS4 and you don't have a Vita or you don't want to get it for Steam, why not get this version? It actually has a collector's box, Monokuma sticker, and gold coin. You see the sticker is, I'm sorry I was born stupid, the one that I laughed at so hard in the last chapter. You can see it's a reload artwork instead of the regular one. They actually did use the actual one that they used in Japan for the Vita version. If I remember correctly. You have a 40 page hardcover art book in PS4 game. The art book I probably won't be able to show, but if you've seen the first art book, I'm still working on getting the second. And this is, and if I can get the one from Japan over that was in the reload. Ooh, I'll show those off, but those are some beautiful pieces of work. Definitely worth having. And finally, if you've been enjoying the soundtracks, a 2 disc 27 soundtrack and some Monokuma sunglasses, so you can look like him too. You see some various screenshots from the Danganronpa 1. You remember... You know, it says these screenshots from the development build of the game. You kind of notice that it's close to final. And here's some from number two, as we all know. But yeah. A lovely little thing. Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload brings the first two Danganronpa games, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair to the PS4 for the first time ever in one exciting package. Dan Rampa, Trigger Happy Havoc, and her host peak is a pre prestigious high school reserved for the nation's ultimate students. 
He's getting a bit twisted when he carries soon's finest cell truck inside with Monokuma, a maniacal bear who's taking them all prisoner to play his deadly game of despair. And then continue the adventure in Dengarapa 2, Goodbye Despair, with a brand new cast of Ultimates, mysteriously trapped on Jerwalk Island in their own life or death game. Having fun in the sun with the twisted teddy requires more than a bit of wit to survive. There's an announcement trailer, which I won't play, but you can go watch it on YouTube by now, I bet. Also features two mystery adventures in one. For the first time ever, experience two of the greatest visual novel adventures in one package for the PS4. Makuma's name murders the game, challenge your wits, and discover a tale full of deadly twists and turns and one of the most memorable and iconic villains in gaming, Monokuma. Hope and despair, you'll find yourself gripping on the edge of the UC as you experience a world packed with crazy characters, mysterious murders, clever clues, and games of logic all culminating in life or death decisions in the ultimate game of hope and despair. Now, for those of you also, I'll get that open in a new thingy. I have not Check this all today, but you can see that they still have a good amount of stock left when I did when I put this when I record this. Stock meter's still good. I'll actually reload it. I'll check it in a second. But yeah, it's gonna be sixty bucks, thirty for each title. That's pretty good for what you're getting. And yeah, the stock hasn't changed. It's still between fifty-one and seventy-five percent. So if you want it and you don't have it yet, now's your chance. It's releasing early two thousand seventeen and. If you order, I know I'm I'm being nice to them. I'm actually showing off. You can get, you can see they have the Vita version still around, but you have your Host Speed Academy Academy School set. You have pins from Ultra Despair Girls, which I'd love to play. The girl with the pink hair looks kind of cute, actually. It'd be a shame they're the enemies. I bet they probably are. Yeah, a couple shirts that you get, including one for Dangarampa 2, and yeah, the original on Vita. But yeah, if you're interested and you want free shipping, I mean, I heard it's not that much, but you know. So yeah, I'm going to end this and we're actually going to go into the episode now. So, see you in a few. Hello everyone, this is Homer with Seven. Before we get into the thing, I just wanted to show that we got some more extras. I did buy some off camera. I'm going to be doing this from now on for us. After a trial, I'll buy a couple of these, at least some of them. You can see I got some more. Still got a lot to unlock, though. No movies yet. I'll worry about the movie and the sound later, and this after, because we don't unlock it till later. Momo Yashin, we got a little bit more. I'll show you that real quick. We're at the 84% now. Vending machine doesn't change, because we got everything to run the vending we need. It's going to be time to buy some more mineral water next time I get a Monokuma. And that should be it. Oh, I did do another one of these, so you'll see that in the ending, in case you don't list it. Let's continue from where you left off. We were hoping that things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example... Two minutes later, crumbling right after you defeat the final boss. Or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. The name's Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. It's Mechamaru! Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me. No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all. Jeez, you guys are a strange lot. You're all such big white eyes. <laughs> oh, perhaps you all fall in love with this metallic body of mine. <laughs> I already know what you want to say by just by looking your eyes. And again, I am a former team manager. Thank you, game. I don't want to scream this early in the morning, so thank you for doing it for me. Nekomaru is bad enough. The game's taking care of it for me. Huh? What happened? I thought you seen a ghost or something. You. Hey, man. Don't go scaring Miss Sonia with that strange-esque mask. 
He raised his staring voice, Kazuichi grabbed onto Nekamaru's head, and... I already know! Come on! Take it off! <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey! Huh? Why would it come off? What? What? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap! It's not just a show. It's not just a show. It's pure electricity. Reborn as pure electricity! I'm so what the cops called today for some reason. <laughs> There's gonna be a noise complaint between Nekamaru and Soda. It's gonna happen. That's how I feel too, Akane. If you're seriously Nekamaru... Damn it. That's my fault, right? You're not getting a body like that, it's all my fault, right? S sorry S Sorry, Nekamaru. I I don't know how to apologize for this. <laughs> don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? Let's do a beat! Is this really okay? <laughs> if you keep sweating the small stuff, you will end up getting more gray hairs! He's got chrome hair. Hey, hey. Commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Uh, hey. Uh, but you're really Nakamaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right! I resurrected from the depths of hell in shining silver! How you. are you even okay with that? Doesn't even compare to my eye patch. But that's a cool eye patch, you know. I mean, that's a nice design right there. How can you accept that body? Oh. It's better just be alive. Huh? 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 It's better just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive. I can still talk to you and all. I'm alive, I can still fight! Show some spirit! Doesn't matter what happens to my body! Not one bit! Amazing! Y you're amazing! Nikamara's brimming with hope! It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nikamara was saying, but... No matter how he makes sense of this, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie. This is reality. Or is just a fa is it re bleh, 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 bleh. or is this just a fantasy? Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No. Instead, why did this happen? Um. Anyway, I'm glad. That's fine, right? Right? Nikamaru's definitely come back to us. What's this? Hi, my. Am I interpreting your touchy, interrupting your touchy reunion? I need more of that honey liquor, whatever it is. That's just the best. <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Oh, why is Nikamaru a robot? Hey. Unfortunately, um... it's really difficult to say Nikamaru from the jaws of death. That's why I celebrate with this honey liquor because it's gonna be a long night. They don't call me a psychopop magician for nothing! Oh my goodness! Such a wonderful before and after has occurred! <laughs> it appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks that I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares! Hey, hey! Hey, if you're really a robot, What's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then, why do a lot of stuff, like your self-awareness and... <laughs> Fool! How many times do I have to tell you that it doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, 
I am Nekomaru Nidai! Is he? Is he going to power to the rest of his life with his new abilities? Hmm. That kind of reaction. It's like you really are self aware. <gasps> that use technology is insane! I haven't seen or heard of anything like this before! Phew! Not the common or considers advance is not much of an advancement. Do you think advances exist in colleges and laboratories? That's a huge misunderstanding! <laughs> no advancements exist! In the place where you can pass on that talent! Hey, hey! And you're saying that's you! Were you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him! <laughs> you stupid stuffed toy! Don't go screw with people's bodies like that! What? Uh, hold on! You harm my Akuma! You're going to! <laughs> <laughs> you intended to find me yet again! You're quite the barbarian! Disappear! Geez, I thought you'll definitely fall prey to my Monokuma Bazooka! Once again, the world shook and turned stark white. This is the surrounding environment, and all sound was blown away by the impact. Jeez, it didn't take long for this to happen again. Turning everything completely white. Within that whiteness, I heard yet that I hear that voice yet again. Uh, uh, the yeah, don't learn, Akane, do you? Jeez. <laughs> Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Hey, hey! Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and he doesn't even have a single scratch! <gasps> awesome! He's seriously a real robot! <gasps> hey, can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insights? This a sample! No! Johnny Five alive! No! Thank you! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun chapter. <laughs> if I get disassembled, I end up dying! Don't you know about that Johnny Five fellow he was just talking about? By the way. I suppose I should fill you in. You know he's a robot now. If Nekomaru is killed, He's still going to count as a murder, okay? Of course! Of course, if also Nikamara might kill someone instead. <laughs> Don't say just foolish things! That'll never happen! <laughs> oh, I mind. You guys enjoy the killing school trip together. Let's get along! Once again, I hope we can all get along! It's impossible. It's impossible. It's gonna be a while before I can mentally process this. Um. Um. Uh, will Nekomaru ever return to his original form? If that is the case, it is a burden for Nekomaru. Sheesh. Hey, hey. It's not like I came back as a monster. I was a robot yet now, you know? Hmm. I'm sorry. I can't really see a difference. Oh! Uh huh. Well, let's get serious a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed to a sci-fi mystery, <sighs> and the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. Why well, just go all the way? Oh wait, that's the next game. You're totally destroying the genres! <laughs> oh well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine! <laughs> I am not amused! I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, 
Circumstances, foreshadowing, these things don't apply here at all. That's what it means to live in a mad world. God dang, that song's now in my head. Chapter 4, do Ultimate Robots do clockwork? Daily life. The next morning, we gather at the hotel restaurant like we always do. Man, the food today was awesome, as usual. As always, you sure do eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. He wants to do it to her and break her in half. It's impossible not to worry about it. No matter what, this feels really strange. It's not something I'll get used to easily. Hey, hey. Anyway, what are you going to do, Nekamaru? Nekamekapekadekadawa! Nekamaru? You're used to him already? And she already took my phrase. I knew it was coming. What am I going to do? Hmm. For food, you need like, oh, do you need like oil? Hey, hey. Regular, premium, unleaded. Oh, diesel! I know, it's diesel. Well, nah, he doesn't need oil. And he says it's pure electricity. Maybe he's battery powered or something. <laughs> I can totally eat normal food, especially rice dishes. I can't keep my eyes off him. <laughs> I've been feeling a little down today, so I don't have much of an appetite. Alright! You're malfunctioning. If you show me your insights, I can fix you up, you know? <laughs> no means no! <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh with me. Honestly, don't laugh with me, Nagito. What? So you're here too? Sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. I should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered together like this. However, I just wanted to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Hmm. That person, Mikan called her beloved. I can't help thinking about that and won't get out of my head. Trying not to sing again. Huh? Am I just care of worrying you about that? Let me tell you. It crossed this. my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it. So this is the end. This is really. Now I can go to my beloved and be forgotten, forgiven. I can finally see my beloved. I'm gonna get some coffee. Please forgive me. That's my hopes of finally seeing you die with me. This too must be It the was of as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. <laughs> and there's nothing to worry about. Fine. More importantly, we should be thinking about the Future Foundation, our enemy. That fearsome organization known as World Ender is truly responsible for our imprisonment. If you flinch, you will die! Then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. The Future Foundation, huh? That word, Future, Mirai, Sunrun Kagura, Precure, um... Does it have anything to do with that ancient ruin? I mean, there's no doubt that that symbol on the door of the ancient ruin was... A Japanese word for future. If that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins again later. However, However, the more you think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? They went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. 
Why would they bring us to this island? Where you can clearly see Hope Island behind them. And why would they be giving us a fucking vacation in paradise until that stupid bear bitch decided to make us go and... Ruin everything and make us kill each other. There's something wrong here! You know, I don't think the Future Foundation's truly behind this. I truly don't. Mm. Not only that, I think it wastes several years worth our memories of, of our lives at Host Peak Academy. For reasons that are also unknown. Then again, they could have done that. And then the bear could have just taken over and then ruined everything. As in the bear's an unexpected encounter. Hmm. Early thoughts. Future Foundation! World Ender! Ha! Impossible! It's obviously something wrong with you if you believe something so unrealistic! Hey, hey. You're one to talk! But. But what should we be most concerned about? As it relates to the Future Foundation. Isn't that right? Is the traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us? Hey. I wonder who it is. Troy Denny, the Avs are hiding among us and trying to ensnare us. I won't be fooled. Nagito's obviously the most suspicious, though. He had a challenge organization blathering about it in the world when I accept someone like me. Bullshit! Man, nobody wants a worthless human like me to join the group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? Anything you say, I take with a grain of salt. That is all. Good day. You think so? And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Then, who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. I nominate Hajime. Huh? Well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? I thought the most unlikely candidate was you, sick boy! Hey. Not just that, you're the only one here who doesn't know what alternate talent you possess. If we're basing this on an outsider, I am on a group of ultimates. Hajime should be doubted right away. But what if it's just what they want you to think and that I just forgot my skill and someone else is a traitor and then it's all this whole other hogwash that you don't even know about? I mean, I could be a two, right? I could just be a talentless little bastard like Nagito over here who believes in luck all the time and chases hope like a stick. And Hajime's a traitor? Uh, of course not! What are you even saying? <sighs> you should raise your voice like that. I might become even more suspicious of you. You know? This is obviously your fault! Down. Stop fighting! Oh, do you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That might be true, but... Alright, I'll handle this! Just leave the matter to me! Um, what do you mean? To eliminate the sense of atmosphere, I'll let me present you my new function I discovered last night. Huh? New function? <sighs> now tell me, is it flight? Can you fly? No. It's not a conventional function like that. It's more, more practical and novel. <sighs> now then, let's go. <sighs> oh. Behold. More corn. Huh? Nikamaru is crying? No. Harley, I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses cola. Yes. And my left eye dispenses Ruibo's tea. Behold. 
That's actually quite good. A little damaging, because Cola can rust things. Except silver, if he's made of pure silver. But that'd be quite weak, but that is useful. Are you kidding me? Who are you? A soda fountain? You would enjoy that, wouldn't you, Kazuichi? Soda? Soda! In fact, he just spends his beer cola, which means I wouldn't be surprised you're holding a freaking glass under him right now. Because the joke is, is that if you look at what he likes, he likes Coke. He's spending cola. Coke? A uh, cola? Come on, guys! He wants some. Um, he wants some Coke. Damn it. I know a beer all day, we keep commenting on every little thing you do. What the hell is my going thing and giving you a function like that? So that guy? He's definitely fooling around. My group is just toying with people's bodies. <laughs> I do. That's why I've been Makuma, so I totally understand how Nakamaru feels. <laughs> but don't be depressed. I get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. Don't go buttoning our conversations all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. I'll kill you until you die from it. True words have never been spoken. You ever gone to someone just go, I'll kill you until you die from it? They'd probably laugh. That's, That's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. <laughs> you showing up at a time like this means... You're gonna tell us that you defeat another mono beast. And what smells like fire? <laughs> Ta da! You're correct! <laughs> Come on, let's a gang you visit a new island! So please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. <gasps> I ain't going! What the drag? Hmm? Eh? Man. If we go to the new island, it's not like we're gonna find a way to escape this place, right? You are right. <laughs> Rather, I feel so the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a new island. So it might be best if we do not go. I renounce you! I don't know what you're planning, fiend! We're not going to fall for it! Yes! In the middle of understanding, I was just... Lame! Ah, oh, jeez! Annoying. You'll stay back and leave the rest of your big brother. I'll give you an example how to lure these guys to you, little sis. Hey. Uh, what are you doing? You're acting like we're allies or something. you to stay back delicious <sighs> this technique it's impossible to defend against it or evade it this is just getting comically stupid the way those were fighting well now hey now I mopped up the annoying one special bleeding service okay so you guys are feeling down the thumbs I'll make you guys look so your noses will bleed! God damn it, Monokuma, you're making me laugh! No fair! Uh, you did remember we were on a ride at Tembi Lake and I ended up saying that? Right at the end, right when we crashed in the water to make that lady laugh. It was kind of funny. Now the early investigations, I prepared a special treat that's completely different than before! Um, treat. Nice! Oh, you took the bait? I guess it's true. If you want to get a shot in the other room, carrots work the best. <gasps> Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. <laughs> it's an amazing treat. Throw it your pants. That's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me. I prepare a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island. 
such as clues about the future foundation. Huh? Huh? Such as parsley may be useful for making a ship. You serious? Are you for real? News. And also you said profiles for your time at Hope Speak Academy. Uh so, so do your best to explore. Take care. <laughs> That's a look at someone who doesn't know what to say. Hey, hey. What should we do? You know, right? Well, the options go, obviously. You might be able to go home if you had the ship parts. Yep. I plan to go too. There are clues about the future foundation. We need to make sure we see them. Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course, you're going, right? I feel like you're seeing a profile. You might be able to find what your shining talent is. <laughs> Just for you to clear any suspicions, right? What suspicions? I don't think anyone here doubts me except for you. What? Ah, I see. But, there's a clue about my talent. I want to know what it is. Ultimate prostitute, Hajime Hinata. Nah, that doesn't sound right. We didn't most of Academy chose me. Mm. Ultimate King's Game Player! The talent I possess. Ultimate Porn Star! The things that matter to me, there's no way I'm not worried about it. Ultimate Harem Gatherer! Yes, I'm being funny. I think you all prepare yourselves for the worst! That means we're gonna go, right? I... If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. Hmm. There's also a possibility that Michael has set a trap. We should be careful where we step. Don't step on the white ones. Hot lava. Pineapples! I can't stop thinking about the ancient ruin that my old clues about the future foundation. We should start exploring the new island. Man, I'm having fun with this chapter. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but I gotta check the map. And the pet. And the ferret. I was thinking of a word to put there. Shut up. Okay, anyone hanging out on the first island? Nope. Anyone hanging out on the second island? Nope. Anyone hanging out on the third island? Nope. Anyone on the central? Nope, everybody's in the new island. Now, I'm gonna warn you this right the freak now. For one reason, and one reason only. I was given this as a warning from that lady and from Audio Guy. They both warned me, stock up on water. Or whatever you need for your pets. If you forget, you can always main menu it, but you know. I'm getting the episode here. I'm going to take a walk and build up a and get some more money. I hope you have fun. I'll see you on the next one. See you then. Alright, what is that? Let's start back with another magical girl, Romanami. Let's start out by seeing what we got right now. You see, I'm still using the same stuff because nothing's really coming that's better, and I can't get rid of the diaper because the old man's grass skirt's helping us get items. I need it. We're going to stage three. It looks like we got the bird one this time. We're gonna play it on normal like we always do because it's the first run. Time for wave one. Let's get this sucker in a circle. Yeah, you can tell what time it is. I've got a lot better at this game, but it's still gonna... My butt! But, you know, we can do this. Can you see it looks like it's got a dark theme, it looks like? That would be a little bit of a kind of thing. That's why I love doing these before. I mean, before the island get an idea of where we are now. There's no train actually hit people. Uh, this is not a good area. 
Nothing, summer carnival. I feel as if this thing got a little laggier on this one. This stage. Like I said, this only happens during the sport. When I'm playing this normally, there's nothing. Like I said, the slowdown does help you get to memorize some new humor with the how they like to act. Oh, and by the way, I got my first moverness on hard. Witch's broom! Wave four. I won't tell you where to find all the items, but this is one of those that every guy I look at, come on you, miserable little cow. Guy, look at me up. Jeez! No guy has given me hands on where he, I, I am sorry, I mean, I've gotten items that no guy have listed in certain areas. So, trying to tell you guys what you can find where is going to be more of a challenge than I thought. It might be near impossible, so the only thing I can really say is play a stage a few times. And if you're missing an item that I got that I showed you in the episode, it's probably in that stage. On way five. Remember that you do need every part, every item in the game. Yeah, this is going to be one of the trophies. This is going to be one of the grinders. Hey, look, new enemies. They're popping poop. We got poopers! Wave six. More of the pooping poopers. It looks like. Attacks in this that they can do. Where, where's he go? Where's he go? Nobody knows, but nobody cares. Ow. You know that this we only got one more of these on the main game. Why should I say two more? I think you to fire check the six of we do have a bonus one we gotta do. That's gonna be not fun. Run around and run around and run around. And we keep running and we keep going wrong. Wave seven. Already moving. Halfway through the struggle. It's real. Come on. Connect, dang it. Darn it. Stuck on everyone. That does not help. Just not to this guy a couple times because why not? I'm trying to get as close as I can to the enemy, but at the same time, it's like get out of my way, like that. No bunch together like that, you just can't get your circle connected and it's just a little bit too far. It's annoying. Very annoying. Get out of here. Okay, wave eight. Hey, a new one. Around. 
two waves left. We're on wave nine. Look at this. We got more of the same. That was like great. We got everything. I got hit out of my attack. That's what I hear about the item spam that some guys have, or some ways having this. Ah, I couldn't make the turn fast enough. This should be that. Here we are, the final wave. It's time for the boss. We got the bird. You can I hop on this one a lot? Nope. This one's easier to hit than the snake, though, I think. Yeah, it's easier to hit if you can get on top of it. But I don't know if you can knock it down for very long. And as always, I missed that attack. No, make the circle, darn it. Uh. Yes, I got a hit on him. And let's circle around. You're not invincible when you're Mona Me. Well, until you are Mona Me. Come on! The Boom Boom! And boss done. He does like to uh, run around and try to hit you, as well as that dive bomb. I actually died to his running around trying to hit me. Yeah, not too bad. You can motor me him and quickly circle, you can easily win. But stage clear. We did it! <laughs> As usual, I'm going off camera for you runs. Mm. I might. Hmm. Actually, kind of balancing stats for me now if I take that. But I don't know. The part of reasons I'm still trying to figure out how things work, I mean, they don't really explain too well. Hmm. But we got the all or nothing underwear worn by the ultimate martial artist <laughs> during serious battle. Sakura! Yeah, I'm gonna in the episode here do some more runs off camera. Because why not? So next episode we're gonna go into the main and we're gonna see what we unlock. And I'm still thinking about maybe equipping this, so yeah. I hope you had fun. Or am I gonna end or am I gonna keep looking at things? No, I'm gonna keep looking at things. I mean, even I just wrecked my own ending. So, yeah. Are you done yet? You've looked at the thing three times already. You're not gonna get anything new. So, yeah, it'll be a fun. See you in the next one.